And um, it's not always a popular idea because uh, often in the art world, even in the Christian art world, we have tried to sort of keep our Christian faith very well under control and somehow in the background as an influence, but not, not too overt. And uh, in this day and age when the issues of faith and belief are becoming a little bit more open from every quarter, uh, there's no real need to be apologetic or uh, fearful about uh, expressing our faith through our work. So this is our attempt here in the Genesis exhibition to let um, that, that be very evident and very open. And um, what we're going to do now is literally go around and talk to one or two of the artists who have exhibited here and what they've, what they've been doing. This one here is by John Gled, who, who's not actually here tonight, but he He's a, a, a Christian artist who's been working uh, in London since he was a student. He went, he emigrated to Manchester, he's been doing a lot of work up there. He gets work in the, um, the Royal Academy Summer show, show regularly. And this year he's also had a drawing except for the German Prize for drawing. And he's got a very forthright, a very bold, very sort of bright, almost a brash kind of style. But um, if you check out his website, you'll see that he really tackles lots of Subjects. I mean, he's only done very few that we, he would probably call a biblical subject. In this case, it's uh, Jacob and his dream and the ladder going up to he heaven and the angels. And he's got Jacob wrestling with an angel over there. And uh, so that's, that's, uh, that, that's, that's John. And he was here on Monday night. Uh, but he has few words to say about his art. He, like, he, 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 he prefers his art to speak for itself, which is a, f a fair enough view. Um, now, we've also got um, Dorothea, who's from Austria, uh, originally from Switzerland, who's come up with a little project over here, which is uh, a kind of a, a creation story. Uh, the, 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 there, there's a canvas and a sculpture. And Reza, I don't know if you would... Um, can fill in a little bit about this project that Dorothea has put together. Uh, about Dor Dorothea, I don't know too much. So, but what, what we experienced that it really fit into the into the room and also into the pieces next to. So it looks like a little body, a body which is crumbled uh, down or together. And uh, I have uh, really not, not too many yeah. uh, information about her. I think well, she comes from. You can read some, yeah. some parts of. She comes from a textile background, and I think yeah. she's used her textile she's skills to come up with something which is about uh, creation and the origins of the, uh, of the whole um, earth and the world. Mm -hmm. and uh, reflected in this, this rather subtle, quite powerful canvas on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. um, light emanating out of darkness. Um, we, this is just a kind of an early stage experiment for us at the club and figuring out if you, if you can use something so biblical like the first book of the Bible to, uh, to work on. And um, we, uh, we, everybody who has been involved in it has just begun to realise that they're literally only scratching the surface with the subject. And people are suggesting maybe next year we do Genesis 2 or something like that. I was thinking maybe we progress to Exodus or, you know, we do some completely other subject. But uh, I think it's opened up um, uh, some sort of um, area of study. 